I'm gonna need you guys to get more brave in the new year. Most people think of jewelry as just a little bit of sparkly bling, bling here on your wrist. Tiny little accentuation of everything else, but it can be so much more. There's this huge, vast void of possibility. Jewelry should be art, art you can wear. So I'm gonna need you guys to be a little more brave. I know not all of you are extroverted, but push it a little bit. Give some free earrings to your extroverted friends and tell them to wear them out all over town. Push yourself to do some weird styles, some extra big, extra strange, extra folded over, extra trying some kind of pattern you never tried before, because the world needs to see more interesting, exciting things. It inspires people. Push your creative limits a tiny bit. We could make a whole handmade jewelry revolution, and the world would find that so much fun. They wanna see new things they've never seen before, and that's where you come in. The fancy gold and silver and diamond makers are not gonna do wild, exciting, hippie, bright, colorful, experimental fun stuff. They're just gonna keep pumping out the same little tiny diamond pieces that sparkle here and there, and they're gonna keep taking people's $5,000 and $10,000 purchases and pocketing the money. And here you are, afraid to charge $35 for a pair of earrings that are more unique than anyone has ever seen. Or you're afraid to add just one more dangle to make those earrings extra big or colorful or long. Or you're crying that you can't afford really nice jewelry beads and pieces when you can literally take scrap paper and cardboard and markers and tape and make your own pieces. So I'm gonna go to the dollar store and just pick out some random stuff. You can just take this random stuff and make whatever. Let's have fun. You don't need to even get all this. I just wanted to give you guys multiple options so that you could just be like, I have no more excuses because Matt showed me all the possibilities. Do you know how much cool, funky colored wire there is in here? Good, strong wire, like, Enough to keep you busy for a year. I don't even need most of this. I've actually never used this. Let's see how easy or hard it is to work with. You got a round nose here. Always good place to start. Oh, this stuff is easy. Look at this go. Look at it. This stuff is like great. This is phenomenal. Let's make some cool stuff. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I can practically do it with my fingers. It might be a little harder because your fingers not might not be as built up as my manly, muscular fingers. But still, I mean, come on, look at that. Tell me that's not, like, crazy cool. What What is this? Look at that. That's Fun! Let's make another one. Huh. 
Ha <laughs> yes. I don't even remember how I did the last one. I'm just gonna, I guess I kinda went like that. And then I kinda went like, like this. see it's kinda turning out, the, yeah, it's about turning out the same. Look at that. So easy. So, I mean, again, you can take your round nose and your needle nose to help you, but look at that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't make it perfect. Like, let it be a little different. Let it be wildly different. Who says anything has to be symmetrical? It does not. It does not have to be symmetrical. Things just have to look balanced with the universe. Okay? Fun stuff. Let's make sure that one's fully tucked in. Yeah, it's not going to come out and scratch anyone. You don't want to scratch anyone. That's a big rule. The big rule is you don't scratch anyone. The second big rule is nothing is so weak it can be yanked apart by a simple little tug. Those are the two main rules. Once you got that down, you pretty much do a lot of crazy stuff. Now, they make it too easy. They actually have a craft section at the dollar store now. Look at these craft beads. It's too easy. Back in my day when I was young... The dollar store had nothing but canned soup and cheap framed photographs, and we had to make jewelry using just that, and we still found a way. You youngins have it too easy. Look at this. The only hard part is opening this. They try to trick you so that you open it up and all the beads spill everywhere. No matter how careful I am, I'm probably going to make them spill, but at least it'll be fun. Look at this mess. I need like a bomb squad to take this. I should probably have my goggles on. They're probably all going to shoot at my face. I'm looking to hire assistants that are proficient at opening dollar store bead sets. That's the only qualification you need. If you can open this thing without one bead spilling, then you're hired. Why do they do this? They have such a simple product and they make it like painfully hard. I think they want you to spill all the beads and then cry and come back and buy more. This, this is a little bit of scotch tape right there. It's just holding it on for no reason. Oh, look at that. I, I pretty much did it. I got all my choices. I'm going to take a couple of these and a couple of these. That's good for now. Now, I was going to say, you really need to get regular craft wire, but this actually fits in here with the paper clip. Like, what? I'm just going to do these. Now, you do have to get your own jewelry pliers, but you can get this three set for like nine bucks online. I'm going to give you the link. Okay, look for the links. It's in the top comment. Look in the top comment under this video or the description whatever is easier to get to i'm going to show you how to get all the cheapest most inexpensive basic stuff to begin so cute let's make a right angle and then bend it backwards look at that look how good i am look at that oh i should be giving given an award for this paperclip jewelry should just call this paperclip jewelry Ooh, now we're finding. First time I'm trying to cut the paper clip. It's a little bit hard to cut. Let's move it down here. Not that hard, though. This is good wire. It's strong. It's going to work for you. Maybe I need to give a little bit more slack because I don't know how tight I can make these loops with this paper clip wire, but... Uh, oh, look, see, I mangled some of the plastic off of the paper clip right there. Okay. So now we know our limits. If we try to make the loop too tight, we start to mangle the plastic. All right, that's cool. And then underneath it, you got this. What is this? It's just basically black wire. So you know what? I'm okay with that. That's totally fine. It's just basic. This isn't going to be the part going in your ear anyway, so it doesn't matter what kind of metal it is. It's probably not even going to touch your skin. So, you know, let's whoop, do that over with. I'm learning with you guys. I've just... Uh, Take one, let's you know, start over again. That's too much trouble here. Take some of this baba and we'll strip it. Let's see, strip it. How hard is that? Not hard at all. Just like when we used to build a bomb with grandma. All right. If you cut the correct wire, the bomb will stop. But if you cut the wrong wire, we all die. Who in the history of movie tropes decided that bad guys were going to color code all the wires within their bomb? Like, hey man, why are you color coding all those wires? Why are you building the bomb? It's simple, Paco. We've got to give the good guys a fighting chance to disable our bomb in case they find it in time. But we'll make it super, super scary so they only have a one in three chance to cut the right wire. Oh, I see. Your logic makes much, much criminal sense to me. 
All right, so look, and they got this nice black gunmetal. This is good. Who knew that paper clips had black gunmetal underneath the, um, now you could just get plain silver plate paper clips and do this too, but anyway, let's have some fun now. Oh, this is so much easier when I'm not worried about the rubber stuff breaking. That, that sheath. Look at that. This is great. This is like 20 gauge. It's real nice, but it's stronger than like regular copper based craft wire. It's probably more of a steel. Yeah, it's a little harder to bend, but not impossible. That will shoot at you though. Be careful. Don't get this in your eye. Make that little sharp and disappear right into the bead. Look at that. That's like perfect. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm never buying regular jewelry supplies again. I'm just using the dollar store from now on. Look at, look at that baby. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like art. And since I'm stripping it, it doesn't matter what color I pick next. Now look at this, we already got pink beads here, but these are kind of like little kid, like blah, boring pink. So let's spice them up a little. I think I can open these without assistance. Hopefully not spill any. Oh, look, I'm improving. All right. Perfect. I don't know, does this stuff shake? You ladies, you know, how does nail polish work? Ooh, should I put something down? I'll use the back of my markers. Multiple purpose. Just bend that up so nothing rolls away. Got myself a little tray now. Just fold the corners over like that. I learned this by making foil trays for my air fryer so I don't have to clean it out as much. Just make a little, take a little piece of foil, just bend the corners like that, and then the edges can fold up into a nice little box, kind of. This will keep the beads, hopefully, from rolling away. Okay, teaching you guys so much stuff. All right, ugh, this stuff smells awful. Let's, what do we do? Let's see. It's, ooh, it's a little sparkly, too. Let's go do... Ba -ba -da -da -dab, da -da -dab, dab, dab. All right, ugh, it smells horrible, and now I can't touch it because I have to use the paper clips for an assist. There we go. It's perfect. Watch this. Ta da Look at that. Ha-ha. Watch out. See, look, it didn't roll away. Let's give a little dab, a dab, 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 dab. Ooh, it got on me. Gross. A little dab, 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 dabs all around. Yeah, that one was too thick right there. You can smear it, too. There's no right or wrong when it comes to bedazzling your beads with some dab, dab, dabs. Okay, that looks good. I like that. Let's do the next one. Just get them, get them kind of uniform. Yeah, there we go. This one's getting too much. I need a little more little dabs, more little polka dot dabity dabs. Okay, a little more smearage. Some smearage in there. And yes. Oh, we didn't get any out right there. Perfect. All right, it's probably going to stick to the paper. So every few seconds, you want to kind of pick it up and move it a little bit. Oh, see, it needs a little more dabby dab on the top there. Now you can always go back and add more dabby dabs after this dries. Oh, too much. I don't know how to control this stuff. I don't know how you women's do it. I think it'd be fun to paint nails, but until I get the hang of it, this is not fun. I'm gonna make myself a little stand like that. So look at that. look at how multifaceted these little uh, paper clips are. Look at that cute little stand. Let's see if this works. Ready? I'm just gonna scoop it up. And look at that. Oh, and it fell over. Got to balance your stand better. Oh, I just don't want it sticking to the paper, so. There we go. Yep, oh, see? I got better the second time. Look how good I got. Look how I did that. I'm like amazing. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Is that long enough? I don't know. I hope so. I'm going to... Use some of this like blue green. Put a little of that on there. Do some dabity dabs. You can like really paint these. This could become like a cool art form. This is like Jackson Pollock and pointillism meets jewelry from the dollar store. That's a mouthful, but you can make it work. Steal it. Make a whole new style called pointillism Jackson Pollock Dollar Tree art. I'm finding that the smearing actually gives it like a marble effect. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of smearing it with my fingers. Oh, no. Okay. We did not buy paintbrushes. We could have bought paintbrushes at the dollar store, but we forgot. So we're just going to take a little bit of our paperclip friend once again. And I think this will be good. 
Let's see. Oh, blah, blah. oh yeah. Let's get this stuff on here. And let's see. Oh, oh yeah. It's a little metallic silver. Getting it good. Getting it good. This actually applies it in a slightly more controlled way than it, like a, a brush would. This is kind of like having a teeny tiny brush. I like it. Still going to get it on my fingers a little because that's part of being... If you don't get some on your fingers, you're probably not a real artist. I hate to tell you. You know, if you're that meticulous, you're probably more of an accountant, which is fine. We need accountants. Call me up. I need help with my taxes again. While we're waiting for those to dry, these little wooden beads are nice. They're super dark, so we're going to paint them. Paper clip assist once again. Now I've decided to just get a regular paintbrush. Again, I'm gonna put this in the description. You can get like tons of these paintbrushes for a dollar. It's so easy. But got the nice silver. I think that's gonna look good. We gotta put that on thick or the brown is totally gonna to shine through. You can put several layers though. Don't worry if you get it on your paper clip part because paper clips are less than a penny as we learned and we can throw them away afterwards. But having it on the paper clip makes sure you're not gonna paint over the hole. See if I can make that stand up somehow. Eh, I'll get there. There we go. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna use white paper clips to wire these guys up. I found if you're a little bit gentle and you don't make the loops too tight, the plastic coating will stay put pretty well and it won't you won't damage it. So we just gotta make slightly bigger loops like that. See? Cute. Look at that, you got it. Get it nice and tight, got the loop right in there. And we did not need to hurt any of the plastic coating. And we got them both with one white paper clip. And they didn't have earring hooks at the dollar store, so you gotta buy those separately. But again, I'm gonna put a link for it where you can get tons of these earring hooks for very inexpensive. All right, all you gotta do is open up some of these loops, whichever ones we prefer to open, and pretty much done. Let's do it! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Do 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 do! Do 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 do! Look how much fun we had with the dollar store stuff! We had too much fun! Look how much fun we had with the dollar store stuff! Stay tuned next time when we show how you can make Powerful militia weapons and munitions to set a coup on a very small country with the dollar store. The dollar store. I'm just kidding. Please don't come and arrest me. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful not to mangle the plastic coating. Okay, see these glass mosaics? These are pretty awesome. Looks like these were black and gray. We're gonna take two of the gray ones and our trusty super glue. I prefer the green top because it's gel. This stuff is like watery and it gets all over, but they didn't have the green top, so I have to do regular. Now this has a seal and as soon, see that little part in there? As soon as you twist this on all the way, it breaks the seal and you hear like a little hiss maybe, but that opens it up. So now it's open, so you gotta be careful. I want to get this on your fingers. This is again watery, but do a little bit time, just a little bit. Just need a little bit. Put the cap right back on. That stuff will leak all over. I already feel like I got some on me. It's like hard not to. And put those together. Yes. All right. Let them sit. Make sure they're lined up right. If you get some on your fingers, rub it on something. Don't rub your fingers together. Rub it on like tissue or even the inside of your clothing that you don't care about because that stuff will dry like a hard skin and you won't be able to get it off for like a whole day. It's so annoying. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. It'll dry about five, 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna strip some more paper clips because we need the wire. It's nice black gunmetal wire too underneath with the color anyway, so. 
little cut and pull and then one more pull and it seems to get it off on the second one I, with these wire cutters. So don't push too hard, you don't want to cut it, you just strip it. Oh, you know, we have two earrings we're gonna do, so we need to glue another set of these together. And I just got it everywhere, all over my finger. I just tried to open, look at that. Just try to open the next one and it, I'm telling you, do not get this liquidy stuff, get the green stuff. This is like, oh. Okay, my hands are just gonna be a hodgepodge of nail polish and super glue and gross. So, hope you're happy, your fault. You guys decided to watch this and that I had to make it so you could watch it. So, blame all of you. Really, if you gotta use this stuff, use the tiniest bit, because this stuff is horrible. When they invented the gel, it was, oh, life got so much better. Remember, green cap, gel. Do not get the red cap. They shouldn't even make it anymore, it's so awful. It was dry. Curse you! And check on our wooden barrel beads. Yeah, they're getting there. Let's give them a second coat, and they should be good. It's probably a better way to do this, but I'm just slopping it on. It's a lesson in life. When you're waiting for everything to be just right and you're afraid, you know what, I might never get to this because I don't know when it's going to be just right, just jump in and slop it on. I have a trusty hair dryer here. I have all the tricks. Look at this. Never mix up your coffee water with your paint water. There's also, if you're doing a lot of painting and you want stuff to dry fast, there's this thing called a heat box. You basically get a cardboard box, you know, like the kind about the size of a microwave, maybe a little bigger, and you cut a little hole in the top of the box and you poke your hair dryer through the hole and then you just put it on low and you close the box up, put whatever inside you want to dry faster and it'll dry like 10 times faster. You just gotta be careful because a heat box can get really heat hot and if you leave the hair dryer unattended, and go away and have lunch and it's on high, yeah, there's a very slight chance you could start a fire and you don't wanna do that. Coffee time. Okay, I think these cuties are dry, so I'm gonna attempt this. I've only pictured this in my brain, like half the stuff I do in here, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's try it. I don't know if there's a little bit of groove here for the wire to catch, but I'm gonna pretend there is. Standard loop, a little less than a centimeter, bend it backwards, grab it on the round nose, Roll, reposition, roll, reposition, roll. I want the loop to be right there. And so I'm gonna to try to hold it right in that groove between the two squares. Hopefully it works. And bend it right flat against. You're never gonna get good at something unless you force yourself to do something hard. All right, oh look, see I'm holding it like this, right in the groove, it's staying. I'm getting better at this already. I'm, I know I need to bend that like that. Okay. I'm gonna take this away and bend it all the way around like that. And just try to get it, yes. Put the block back. Squeeze it as tight as you can. You want this tight. Oh, look at that. All right, bring that around like that. And don't aim it at your face. You hear that shoot? We're gonna to try to pinch it diagonally down. Uh. Check it, make sure there's no scratch, perfect. Look at me, I'm amazing. Just to give you guys an extra like little, take out this evil, the evil that is this. We're gonna open it again, you open it like this, cause you open it sideways, that stuff starts pouring all over your. And we're just gonna give a little dab, just the tiniest dab right in there. Gently careful, look how fast it's coming out. Oh, it's gross. It wants to pour right out. We're just gonna, little dab. There we go, little dab. And I'm putting that down before it drips somewhere on me. And do this one too, little dab. Put that cap back on, put the evil away from you. Curse you, curse you, stay away from me. Oh yeah, now they're fun because they look gray when they go straight on, but as they dangle, as they spin, they look all like iridescent, dichroic, different. They look clear, kind of, and then gray, and then clear, and so they're like fun, because earrings never sit still on someone. They're always moving all over. Now my wood beads, I'm just gonna take these black ones. Nope, I can never leave well enough alone and make anything easy for myself, so we're gonna bedazzle these black beads also. You don't have to do little dots and little lines like this. You can like, you can literally like be an artist and like paint little swirlies and flowers and you know, anything you want. 
I'm getting good at making these little stands so they stand up. Okay, while we're doing this, we can paint some butterflies. Now, I know I spent like 20 bucks at the dollar store getting all this stuff, but literally, I have enough stuff here to make like 100 pair of earrings. But let's say I sold each of those 100 pair of earrings for like 10 bucks. That's $1,000. You turned your $20 from the dollar store into 1,000. What a turnaround. Look at these bejeweled hearts. You could literally just take each one, take one of your silver hooks, See if we can do this. All right, I'm gonna straighten that. See, straighten that out, right? Okay. Straighten this whole baby out. We can't mess with it too much because it will break. Slide off the little spring and the little ball, okay? And now, this is the part that will go into the ear. Bend it. And then grab this right here, and we're gonna do a swirl. And it doesn't have to be an amazing swirl, just, just some kind of a funky thing going on. Like that, see that? Okay, and then I'm gonna glue it right on the heart, like that. Ta-da, and we have a post. See how cool that is? And you want to buy some earring backs to go with it, but there, you can get like a hundred of them for like three bucks, like any craft store. Hey, okay, my arch enemy is back. I'm going to put a little puddle, try not to get it on our, look, it's already on me. All I did was take the cap off and it's on me. I hate this stuff. I hate this stuff. Oh, gross. All right. Again, try to get the gel stuff. Look at that. Like a little puddle. Curse it. I hate you. Now, just get this and bam. Ta-da, except I want that at the, oh, it's sticking already. That's good sign, good sign. All right, I want that at the top of the heart. Make sure you position the little post right where you want it. You got like a couple, you got like one or two moves and then it starts setting, which is nice. It's setting really fast. Perfect, that's right where I want it, okay. I'm gonna let that dry for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna put on another tiny little puddle to like really seal it in. Now granted, you can just buy these posts at most art stores. Like you don't have to unravel a fish hook earring but again, I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can just buy some posts that you can just glue on. Painting the butterfly, painting the butterfly, painting the butterfly all day. So you can glop it on thick or you can go real thin like I'm doing and it just kind of stains the wood. Just like a cool, nice effect. It's not as dark as the full thickness. And you can make this wire into jump rings too. Let's get the very fattest part of the round nose. Cut it about right there. Oop. Yeah, that's a little hard on your fingers. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect jump ring, but it'll, it's pretty strong metal. It'll, it should hold its place. So we'll make, make a bunch of these. Each one won't be exactly the same, but pretty close. Or you know it's a lot easier? You could just make figure eights. Just go like this, come across like that, and then grab the other side, come across like that, and bam, figure eight. And then just close them up a little bit more. Look at that, perfect. Figure eight, and then you open each side just like a jump ring, and you can use that as a connector. And I can get about three figure eights out of each paper clip, so that works nicely. I actually don't like how this looks. Don't be afraid to change your mind halfway through. So forget these, we'll use them for something else. The way these will hang right now, they'll look like this coming out of the ear. You want them to look like this. So you gotta grab this here and here and turn it a quarter turn like that. That way when the hooks are in, it'll hang out of the ear like that. 